Welcome back everybody. Here we are for more Crewmit's Tale, and once again we're setting off on our quest with the mischief. Rakish mischief. It was on our highest new game plus. Let's see. Add two additional curses when we reach the third dungeon. Okay, okay. Uh it's not gonna be easy. It was already pretty rough last time, so uh we'll see how this goes. But hey, at least the beginning should be the same, so it's cool. Alright, gobloids, let's do this. Ooh, I like seeing the chest here because that means I can pick up this dagger. Which uh, lets us. Well, so one shot does let us one shot solitary enemies, so that's helpful. Let's go ahead and grab it. Um, that will be needed. Wait a second. Did my attack just go up? Wasn't this guy already solitary? Ah, I'm overwhelmed now is the difference. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, so I could... Oh, that's kind of interesting. I grabbed the stab and utilized that here, actually. Okay. Of course, it puts him down here, but I can stab this guy and then eliminate him uh, without needing to use the dagger charge, which is pretty cool. And then I could, for example, buy knockout because I'll need it anyway. Finders keepers. And, uh, you know, let's say knock out this guy. Although he's solitary right now. Uh, let's actually, let's kill you real quick with my dagger. Oh wait, this... Oh, that was dumb, because this recharges when I kill an enemy, of course. Uh, that's okay. We should be fine anyway. Kill this one. Shuffle again. Buy the dagger. Okay. Oh, yes. Kill you with the dagger. Nice. And now let's see how much we really hit. <clears throat> Three then two. Uh there's not really a great way to do this, so I think. Well, there kind of is. On, so we go bang. Pick up the stabs regardless because they split up. But here I can attack for three, take three, then kill them, and then kill the other one with the dagger and preserve both stabs. So that's pretty good. Alright, there we go. Managed to get through the first one without too much trouble. A cause for celebration! Let's see what our perks are. Rain's really picking up. Well, that's not coming through on the mic here. Uh, all right. We got wisely. Salamander. Not too exciting. Toxic's fun. Uh, stab inflicting poison is really powerful. Sneaky is also very good. Minor. Uh, this does get a lot better when we're you know guaranteed a million curses in our deck, being able to remove all those. I really like Toxic and Sneaky though. Let's see. Are we getting any more stabs? Doesn't look like it. <clears throat> Although Lucky Ace plus a bunch of stabs is kind of cute, but um, I think I will take the knockout here probably. It's something that's really quite important to have. Uh, man, this is a tough decision. The, the stab build is really a lot of fun, but without additional ways to get stabs right now, maybe Sneaky is just better. Really being able to finish the follow that first hit is kind of a big deal. So. For the road ahead. Okay, we didn't get any additional stabs, so I, I feel justified in my decision. I like the Shredder's decent amount. I've liked the Brigand armor last time as well. I'm certainly going to pick up a chest. A prudent <clears throat> purchase. And then probably drop uh, a helm or a hide for one of these items. I think, oh man, the, the armor's so a good. Fine assortment of dangerous but we do need weapons as well. Bullets. Can I afford both? I guess I can afford both, right? If I sell two things, I get on ten. Yeah, that works out. Okay. So let's get rid of hide and let's get rid of helmet. Puts me at 40, and then I can go buy and buy. There we go. Feels like our deck just got a lot better. Journey continues.
<laughs> All right. Well, we're about to be overwhelmed already, which is uh, <clears throat> maybe good, maybe bad. Hitting for nine here is going to be a little tricky. Let's see. We get plus one just for having the weapon, right? Um, plus we have a weapon. So that's five already. So we would need a four attack weapon, which we don't have. So I would need to do some combination of weapons and stabs there. But a ton of choice. Oh, that's not a good curse to, to see right now. Well, let's see. I picked this up. Decisive. Okay, and there's a gold chest coming up as well. So now I am... Okay, so now five. Okay. Should actually... Oh my god, these curses, though. These are really terrible curses. Um, I have to sell the dagger simply so that I can have the health to then get rid of this because this curse is brutal to your help. kind of wanted the dagger around but I just can't afford to have this here so uh, and now of course we run into an issue because of the skeleton although if I buy this and this I guess it works out okay okay Crush them. so this is exactly nine which is fine let's kill you don't get cocky. Okay, we're about to get a skeleton, which is fine. Probably need to use a stab on one of these skeletons, I imagine. I'm not actually sure where it's best to do this, but let's go bang. Pick up the knockout. Your lucky day. Uh knockout, I guess like you or something. It's fine. Let's see. Hit the skeleton for five at the moment. So I would need to use two stabs to kill it or one weapon charge. Uh, I don't have room for two stabs, so let's hit the weapon it. charge. A mere trifle. Then shuffle something again. Perhaps you. Eliminate you with a weapon. Oh. It's no longer good enough because I'm no longer overwhelmed. Okay. Well, I guess we'll do it this way. Now, the armor also works pretty well against these guys. So, that's something <clears throat> to consider as well. see here. Uh, I'm certainly going to shuffle one of you away. Grab a new skeleton. Now let's see. With a weapon, that's eight. Otherwise, it's four. So that's still not enough with this. Yeah, I guess I have to use the weapon. Kind of unfortunate. Um, although, hold on. This guy is also here. Let's actually do this. I'm going to pick up stabs. Kill this guy. Hit it. Oh, and we're done. We're, 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 we're kind of done here. All right, let's grab the armor. Uh, that'll work nicely here. So I hit for four. They hit themselves for two. They're stunned. That's six damage. Didn't I run away, I think? This is weird. Well parried. Because I can't finish them off here. So now I run, Give use a second day. charge. Strategize. Oh, I don't even have to use the armor now. Okay, cool. Okay, so that works. Um, then we obviously want the shuffle. One of you. Okay, you end up there. That's fine. Four. So, okay. How am I going to do this? I can use this. I can use each of these ones. Okay, so we're... Hit it. This is four... Yeah, this should work here. We parry, then attack for one twice. And then I just use my weapon on the remaining two. One. And two. Alright. 
a little bit tough, but you have to do it. And now we're going to get another two curses. Oof. Oof. That hurts. All right, what do we got? Uh, Alchemist, Potions, Scaredy Cat. Actually pretty decent on this character. Running away is a pretty legitimate strategy. Survivor is quite good, um, especially since we're starting out at lower health. And Stout, eh, less excited about Stout, especially since if you start at half, this only gives you 3 HP at the start instead of the full 6, so. I feel like Stout gets a lot worse after New Game Plus 6. Is, um, so I'm between Scaredy Cat and Survivor. I think both are fairly reasonable. I'm going to go with Survivor, I think. What's inside? And then the Blackjack's fine. Yeah, go to the blackjack. Um, survivor sneaky. Okay. Choose carefully. Rapier is way too expensive. Alchemy kit, hidden blades, another chest, another shredders, a leather armor. Fifty bucks. Kind of want both of these, Gizmos but I really would like to get rid of the curse of radiation as well. So I think I'm actually going to prioritize that. That's just oh, such a brutal curse. Uh, and then I have to decide with the chest and the extra shredders. I think we go for the extra weapons. Your armory grows. Tough call, though. Your journey continues. I've seen this before. All right. Would have definitely been happier if one of these was a chest, but what can you do? Uh, how hard do I hit you? Four, so I need one damage to kill you. Alright, well, Stab does that. So let's go Stab, attack, kills. Let's see, these guys attack for four. I attack them for four. So I could maybe do something with the armor. Uh, got this helmet over here. Problem is if I sell this to buy the armor, they're split up kind of badly, but I think I can make it work. Invigorating, no? Right, because now this guy's on his own, so I can just uh, do the old stab trick here. That's fine. So three gold now. Would weapons be good enough here? I would be attacking for eight, so we're just short still. Okay, uh, and with the armor, I would block, run, then have to block again without something extra. Man. Finders keepers. So another one as well. It's not easy. Will you triumph? So, okay, alternative method. I hit here, I go to four, then I run away here, taking only two damage, and then I come back and finish them. I think that's better. So that preserves a charge on the armor at the cost of two health, but we'll get the two health back when we kill this, thanks to Survivor. Feeling good. Which is kind of cool, actually. It's a neat little, uh, neat little combination there. Uh, I think I do the same thing with Mr. Buckethead number two. We won't have an armor for the boss, which is maybe a little bit scary. We'll have to get enough weapons to just kind of punch him down. Right, run, take the two. Come in. And of course, that's why Scaredy Cat would have been good, right? Because you can do stuff like that and not even take damage. But Survivor ends up being pretty similar in that respect. Stun solitary enemies, okay. Uh, I'm gonna pick up this health file and probably get rid of these things and then use the charge as the health file, something like that. Could also sell something to buy some shredders. That actually sounds reasonable as well. 
Um, I guess if I'm doing that, I don't necessarily even need to use the health file quite yet. Hmm. Yeah, let's sell this. Okay. Here we go. go to two. Use a charge. Get rid of this. Go back to two. Pick up some shredders. There we go. Okay, that's not a bad one. Because we can just do this and get rid of it pretty easily. So that clears out an annoying curse for us. Um, let's see. Problem is, I'd like to. Well, actually, do I even need knockout? Hold on. Oh yeah, I do because of the blitz issue. So the problem is, I want to get rid of this and get knockout, right? Which means I have to get rid of something in my inventory, and the health vial looks reasonable, right? I'm gonna lose health anyway, but then that means I lose on survivor value when I kill this guy. That said, I don't think I have a ton of options, so. That's what we'll end up doing. Sweet relief. What luck? Get you out of here. Two you eyes. killed. Take that. Um, I wouldn't like the chest. Can I just shuffle you again? Because I don't want to fight you right now. Kind of hilarious, but I think so. Okay, I got some stabs. Kill you. You made it look easy. Okay, that guy's back. I can probably get rid of knockout now. Because there's not gonna be too many enemies at once. I can go stab you, kill you. Pretty straightforward. Get another stupid, unfortunately. Stinky successor to Tabu. It's so what do you do? You attack for double threes, then four lose three health, then five blitz. Okay. I have one charge of my armor. So, can I hit eight? That. So I need to hit for about ten, which I guess isn't even that hard. I just need like one more weapon. Okay, well, that seems highly doable. Um, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get rid of this. Grab this chest. Instant gratification. I'm going to stab this guy. Yoink. Then I'm going to grab these shredders. Then I'm going to fight arms. you. Utilizing every weapon. Eh, I'll... But one weapon is fine. Use brigand armor to not die. Hurry. And now, uh, just kill you. Oh, that did not kill you. Shit. I did my math wrong, guys, and now I'm dead. Oh god. Well, that's embarrassing. I had this one, and then I just I did that instead. <laughs> Hmm. Yep, sure did the math wrong there. Ugh. Not a, uh... Most impressive I've ever done. Right, this video's real short, so we're gonna... We're gonna give it another go here. Although, you know what? Uh, let's, let's, uh... Let's just cycle over the next character, I think. Uh, you know, Mischief... Give some people a chance to catch up. Um, but they get harder, I will say that. But obviously we just lost there to a dumb arithmetic error. Um, Alright, let's jump into Moldorf here. Uh, Alright, so we got New Game Plus 6 starting with less health, which eh, we'll see how scary that is for Moldorf. Ah, what a legend! <laughs> All right. Um, let's walk for two and they attack for three. Or it. Yes, already kind of scary. <laughs> uh, sip is like fine, I guess. The 
scythe sort of does something. The health vial sort of does something. Let's pick up the health vial, I guess. What a find! Strategize. So I take five fighting these guys. Oh my lord, that's not good. Um, let's sell this. One person's junk. So I can pick up the sip, I think. Ah, sweet relief. Kill them. Easy. Get a gold. Is the skeleton even useful? I mean, it can take some of these attacks for me, I guess. So it's sort of a fine health investment. Right, because now... To arms. Now the skeleton can take the first hit. So it's sort of like just taking a hit for three here. Um, except that's still not good enough because then I don't kill them. So, hmm. Let's grab the scythe and Hit it. do this. Do this. Invigorating, no. The problem is now is the the skeleton's not she very good, but I can get rid of this. Get health on both of us. Two arms. I'll take this hit, I guess. Ah, sweet Push ready. you off. Too easy. Get rid of the tombstone. Or one more. This guy can take another hit. Uh, I need another weapon. Your lucky day. Your health. Okay. Feeling good. Do this. Do this. Do this. Now I'm at six. Which ought to be enough. Hit it. Yes, that's enough. Then. Take that. A triumph. All right. Uh, let's see what we Choose got here. One-armed miner acolyte beggar. Beggar's pretty bad. Acolyte's okay. Miner's okay. One-armed's okay. Treasure time. Could pick one arm and then grab, say, the Reaper's Razor, which is a solid weapon. It's probably gonna be my choice regardless, honestly. So I think that makes sense. What a collection! Yeah, let's go with one armed. Should be okay, I think. Now spend your winnings. Let's see, some good stuff here actually. P2 to reduce to zero, recharge after six rounds. Let's see. I would like these gold items, probably, although they're slightly less important now. Sip, as we found out, though, is quite poor, so... I 40, uh, so I can't even afford two things. I might grab the lamp, I guess, because it's one cheaper, so it's just better than the golden chest straight up. A prudent purchase. Get rid of one sip. So that lets us, of course, heal and stuff as well. I guess I could afford this as well if I wanted to. Gizmos and gadgets are plenty. How relevant is gold, though, and I have one armed. It seems slightly less relevant. I'm gonna hold on to this, I think. Let's go here. Dank forest, here we come. Alright. Ooh, this is zero now, it's kind of exciting. Let's grab it. And that lets me actually block these guys, which is cool. Uh, let's also go for a treasure chest. Or not. It's a lamp as well. We got all sorts of stuff going on here. So I would like to get a use out of these before I uh, trade them in, as it were. So let's grab the site. Luck. And yeah, let's do this. For your health. Problem is if I don't, I'm not gonna use a second charge here, but it doesn't mean I go to two, which is yes. sort of less than ideal. Um, Cause I need two health to do this. I guess I can pick up a health vial and just heal a little bit. A new toy. Then we pick up a skeleton. 
not even sure if we need the skeleton, to be honest, but I just wanted to get it while I had the robes. Strategize. Now we can kill this using these things. That's fine. Ha, a parry. Uh, let's see. Back for two. Let's grab more robes. I mean, they're free, so this is just good value. And I can utilize the skeleton here to take a little less damage. Got him. You know, the skeleton obviously takes the damage. Uh, then heal ourselves a bit. Annoying. Um, I'm like beating this barbarian. My other weapon, probably. All right, let's grab the sight. What's on the hole? Yeah, okay, we need to get rid of that. That's okay for now. Do this into skeleton, I guess. Ah, sweet relief. Kill that thing. Get some more health back. Oh, I'm wondering that that's all we have, huh? Alright. Um Do I need to get rid of this curse? I feel like I don't actually. I think I'm gonna be okay to just do this. Fortuitous. And then try to kill some of these guys with it. Get some health. Invigorating, no? Now, what do I need to survive arms. here? I hit you for five. I take a big hit, then I hit you for five again. So I need to be able to survive five damage, which is very doable. Um, hit it. Let's see. What's my best way to do this? I guess just this is fine. Oh wait, this hits for five. Whoops. I'm dumb. I'm not playing very well today. It's okay though. All right. Uh, let's get some health. Why not? Sweet relief. I guess I could even have the skeleton take that hit. Actually, now I'm thinking about it. But of course, five and three. So I'm actually a little short without. Recharging the razor, so we're gonna have to do this. Unfortunately, hit you. Uh, I guess I might as well not lose the skeleton, right? So we'll go heal ourselves. Sweet relief. Hit you for zero, then kill you. All right. Dispatched with ease. Your quest continues. Good enough for now. Ooh, I see blood money. I like that. Uh, though it is also worse when you don't start at full health. I will say that. All right, we got Sir Bramble. Wisely. Packrat, Stout, Bandit, Peaceful. Stout's better on this character because there's a lot of things that care about your the difference between your max and current HP. Uh, Packrat's interesting. Peaceful. Pretty good, actually. I'm gonna go for Stout here. Treasure and then I'm gonna pick up Blood Money because that means some degenerate things. Check out the goods. Octo's Arm, reduced for each life you've lost, destroy minions and non minions, lose one, that tiles at the board. Okay, well, the Haunting Bell is pretty good here, I guess. Or Curses. Probably wanna get rid of Curse of Tongues at least. By the bell, let's get rid of this curse, I think. It's going to be the plan. Move on with our lives. Yes, yeah, so the bell does, what now, like, 7 or 8 damage from, from jump? This looks interesting. Yeah, 7 damage from jump is pretty good, honestly. Alright, let's grab this. <clears throat> Spend it on some cash to get a Reaper's Razor, I think. You hit four one. Okay, so you're actually pretty good to farm with the razor as well. 
money. Money, grab this. Fortuitous. And this is five, so yeah, I can go two plus five. There's a kill, and it gets me some health. Do it again. So I'm maintaining the same health total by increasing my max, which is pretty cool. Um, probably want a skeleton. Probably. I'm gonna start buying some hearty bones down the road here. I'm gonna recharge this thing as well. It's um, yeah, it's pretty good still. I can one shot these guys. I do still take damage, unfortunately, if I do it this way. So maybe here I actually don't do that. Maybe I buy the scythe and utilize the skeleton a little bit. That feels okay to me. What do you do? Three, three, three. Okay, that's not scary at all. Um, yeah, so we'll go bang into bang. Get some health back. We're getting just tons of money out of this as well. All right, so now this gains a little bit of health. I can buy hardy bones, I suppose. Could make a second skeleton and then buy it. Am I gonna need all these slots? Am I gonna need all this health? Hard to say. Let's do it though. Sounds sweet. Alright, uh, you're a pretty free kill here. Get some more health. Yeah, and this bell's gonna be pretty insane. Alright. You can get hit, and then I can finish it off. Easy. We have another scythe, let's grab it. Do this again. <laughs> Alright, uh, oh, wait. Oh, discarding tiles doesn't grant health, does it? Whoopsie. Well, okay, this will restore it to those guys, which is nice. Let's do that, let's do that. Oh, yes. Let's do this. A lot of this, I think. These guys have a nice, healthy life total here. But maybe I overdid a little. That's okay. Okay, that deals 12 damage. So I could use that to just kill these guys off. I can fight the Will boss otherwise. Triumph? Which, it's a lot of health to work with, so I probably can. If I just hit it for two a turn, right? Let's just say using the skeletons, then I'm going to take 13 turns to kill it. Okay, that's a long time. Um, and then, of course, here I don't actually do any damage. Or, well, here. Hmm. Okay, so that's probably not the way to go. Strategize. These guys... I can take this hit. All the blocking is pretty annoying. Do I have any more weapons? Or this is it, right? Oh, this is the last tile, actually. Okay. Hmm. The robes don't really help. So, okay. Hit it. Alternative, I hit you with some weapons, right? Five. So these only add four extra damage, which puts you at 22, which still means 11 turns. Christ, okay. How about these guys? Two arms. Hit you for two, take a hit. Hit you for two. Uh, do nothing, do nothing. Ay, ay, ay. It's kind of rough. Okay, I think I'm going to try to bell the boss, though, because the boss just has so much health. Um, so here, we can go attack for five. You go to four. Take a hit. I attack for two. Then I take some hits. Yeah, I think that's the way we do it, except we use this at the end to get our max health up, obviously. Yeah, I'm gonna take a lot of hits here, but it's not the end of the world, I don't think. Oh, no! So now we do another two. And 
now it doesn't matter. Now we take another five. Oh, no. Now we kill you. All right. That's pretty decent. Um, sure, let's get rid of this. Now I could buy this to deal two damage here, which I probably need to do. I could also buy some robes, but I don't think those help me very much. A new toy. Hit you. Hit it. So now if I hit you for three, then I do four more damage. So three, zero, two. Okay, this all works out still. I'll take the big hit, probably both times, actually. Have this take the small hit. Now I take the big hit. Go to one. Kill you. And now the bell will do the job. Oof. Tough one there, but the bow is good. Alright, we got Pointy Peak. And we got a Scythe, which I'll take. And actually, both of those are good. So you got Privileged, Warmonger, Devoted, and Scaredy Cat. Devoted, excuse me. Um, Scaredy Cat, not really something I'm interested in. Devoted's fine. I mean, Blessings help. Uh, and this is interesting. I don't think I need even more gold. Warmonger... And it makes these scythes a lot better, that's for sure. I think I might actually go with Devoted, though. The blessings could help, and my weapons are going to be pretty decent anyway, I think. What's inside? And then the question is which one of these is better. I actually think this might be. Let's grab it. Though so obviously either of them would be great. I would love both of these. Can I get both of these? Destroy enemies in the same way with less health than the target. I don't think I can get both here. Because it's 60, I have 50. So I'd have to sell two things and be short a tile, effectively. Which I don't love. So they're both insane. So. Certainly gonna get one of them. I gotta have the weapon or the bell. I think the weapon, just because it has more charges. Yes, yes! Arm yourself! And then... And the bell's so good, though. Is it worth going one under to get the bell? Probably is. Get rid of this. That? Get rid of... The robes at zero cost are actually kind of decent, so I'm going to keep those around, but... I can get rid of the basic chest. I can get rid of the health vial. Um, let's go with the chest. And then I'll buy another bell. The power. Really been a big fan of the bell. <laughs> okay. Can I, I can use weapons here, right? I think. The blood money plus memento mori seems like a decent start. Reaper's razor will be good at some point, but it doesn't hit hard enough right now. So let's go grab toy. this, get some gold, grab this, and this obviously hits insanely hard. Gosh. One, two. Nice. Uh, yeah, I can use it against this guy as well, why not, especially since there's another one around. Skeletons, I probably want to use the Reaper's Razor against. How hard did they hit? They hit for two on the first hit. It's a little bit annoying, but. That will be needed. This is sweet. Defeat an adjacent enemy, gain the shell gold, and move the tile. Uh. Okay, let's do this. Sweet relief. Spawn the Cornucopia, and then fight this guy. Hit it! There's some additional gold. Let's grab the robes as well. What luck! I can use those to... Uh... Yeah, I actually don't think I even make skeletons this time around. The memento mores and the bells should be sufficient, I hope. 
Oh, but maybe that's crazy. There's what, one more bell in the deck, so it's like seven charges. There's nine enemies. So obviously, there's the lamp as well somewhere. I think I might be okay. Yeah. of a couple ah, sweet relief yeah some of the enemies are skeletons which are pretty harmless as far as these things go um yeah I guess the bell is better to save so let's grab this Spawn the cornucopia. Go ahead and kill you. Bam. Okay, kill you as well. Magical. Discard that. Okay, uh, I'm gonna use the bell against that. Although I'm at too high of health at the moment. So, okay, there's the lamp. The lamp's useful. Um, I guess I'll just dump some health so I can kill this. I can also fight the skeleton. What does fighting the skeleton straight up look like? I have to hit it four times, so one, two, three, four. I take five damage. Uh, that's actually fine, I think. Hit it! goes. Use this. Bang, you're dead. Get rid of a couple of these. Pick up the lamp. Recharge my items. What a find. Alright, there's another skeleton. I can maybe use the scythe to fight that one. Um, or let's see, the robes would... One, two. Yeah, the robes will actually work as well, but it kind of doesn't matter. Let's go with the scythe. What luck! Another cornucopia. Sure. To your help. It's kind of funny that we got all three blessings as cornucopias. Right, bang! Then just finish you off. The skill. Ideally, I can hold on to all my items at the end here, but we'll see. Bell you. There's some more tombstones. Hit it. Hit you with this. Get rid of that. Okay. Um. To arm. Hit you. Impressive. More of these and Sweet find the last enemy. Alright, that was pretty straightforward. Seems we're not going to be using skeletons too much this run. Uh, the slums are next. So okay, it's a uh, Yeah, it's a decent amount of blitzing and stuff. But... Alright, let's see what we got here. Ooh, ghostly is so exciting. Reaper, a Rich, and Alchemist as well. I'm going to go with Ghostly and hope we can make that blood money work for us. It's going to be tough, but it seems sweet. What will be revealed? No, maybe. Eh? It's okay. It's a way to sort of control our own health a little bit. If you enemy with this, it's... So it's a two cost five attack weapon. I mean that's just pretty good. I think I'm gonna take it. Can I tempt you? Okay, another Mori is good. Um I guess I'll take it. Quite the bargain. I summon a minion, increase the weapon's attack. Might reroll here. I'd really like what another collection. blood money or something like that. Any of this help? Uh, can we use when a minion dies? Increase your max HP. 
I'm going to take the Enfeebled now. It's not the most exciting in the world, but it'll work. Quite the bargain. All right, we'll see how well Ghostly works out for us. Without Blood Money, it's going to be tough to activate. But it is very powerful, as we've seen before. Down, down, down we go. Okay. So, I can use the Lamp for Gold, of course, but I'd like to use it to recharge some items, because it's just so powerful. So, let's see what else we can do. This guy attacks for two, so with the robe I can fight him and only take two damage. Oh, there's the blood money as well. Okay, that's all good. Um, so let's start here. Well parried. Take my two. Dispatched with ease. So this is just whenever you attack or take damage. Okay. Oh, you have two or less health gains. Stay or stealth whenever you attack or take damage. Okay, okay, okay. So, let's grab blood money. Finders keepers. Let's grab a memento mori. Your lucky day. Already attacks for 12, so. Pretty good. Take that. Kill you. Now let's see. If I were to be stealth Crush against you, them. would that be good enough? Uh gives me plus two attack, right? Let's stealth do again. I always attack first and have plus two damage. That's so actually not even good enough, which is funny. Um Okay. That said, I think I'll take one more gold and make a mortal coil, and then I can start hitting some of these guys, maybe? Hit it. Yeah, they don't blitz or anything. Okay, let's do that. Just double check. Yeah, my math is correct. <clears throat> uh, but I can do this. Yes. You're dead. I get a skeleton I'm probably not going to use. Maybe do it again. I guess the Reaper's Razor can finish these guys off with stealth, so that works. Sorry, skeletons. Uh, I'm go ahead and kill you. I got two. Means I'm still stealthy. To your help. Does this actually kill? Oh, it kills these guys as well. Perfect. Okay. Go to four. Get rid of the tombstone. Kill you with the Mori. Bang. Don't even need stealth. Start burning for some tombstones. It's a curse. Now, this doesn't kill without stealth, so I guess I'll go stealthy. Definitely playing with a fine line here, but I think it's okay. Ah, sweet relief. Uh, that one's lamp right this second. I have so many of these crazy weapons and stuff, but I think that's fine. That Little lamp. Uh, restore charges. Uh, keep getting rid of tombstones. Ah, sweet relief. Kill you. Got him. Get some additional stuff. To your help. Uh, seems like such a waste to use the Mori on this guy, but I also have to go way low on health if I wanna not take damage. Um, Hit it. You know what? Why don't you do your job a little bit, skeleton? Do I get an attack here? I actually don't remember how this works. I do not get an attack. Okay. Cool. That's fine. I'll just take some damage. It doesn't really matter. I guess I can go ahead and recharge here. Um, sure, I'll grab that. Let's go to two. Two kills. <laughs> Get rid of Tombstone. Get rid of Health Vial, I guess. Get rid of... Scythe? Sure. 
got it. Um, five enemies left. Yeah, I got plenty of charges of mean weapons, so I need to preserve them too strongly. This is fine. Another one of those guys. It's, uh, sure, I'll just buy these and use them. That also works. Deflected. My health getting slightly too high, but blood money keeps us in check. It's all good. Pick up a second head. Stop using that. So I can just barely kill you. And then just barely kill you as well. Very good. Crush them. All right, it's going pretty well now. I just I need more copies of Blood Money or other ways to control my health. That's the main thing. All right, this looks fine. What do we got here? Minor to gain a bunch of gems and more max health is actually quite good. Uh, security cat still no no. Okay, yeah, we're gonna take minor here. What will be revealed? Uh, probably take the Widow's Grasp. Sure, non-boss is also decent. But let's go with the armor. That could be helpful against bosses and stuff. Alright, these are obviously good. They're not 100% what I'm looking for. This is a way to control your health, but boy, it's not the one you want. I definitely want more of these things because they're just well. insane. But then we're going to look hard for some blood money or something. What is this? Pay six to increase the attack of all minions in your inventory by one. Using these to decrease your max HP for... Uh, mm, that's not so good. Soul Link's pretty decent. For 30. A fine assortment of dangerous doodahs and what's it? Do I even need a Soul Link though? Like I have... So many ways to utilize my low health. Actually, I'm not sure I even want to swap health. Let's just keep rolling. What is this? Destroy a tombstone to draft a thing. Okay, the sickle's fine. So is the lamp. What a collection! What am I looking to get rid of at this point? The hardy bones aren't doing anything. I can easily dump those. I can probably dump these uh, scythes as well. All right, we didn't quite get where we wanted, but I think this is still okay. Away with you! Rid of all this. What am I at? Twenty. Okay, I'll probably get rid of one scythe now. That seems fine. And then I guess I'll dump the remaining curse. Good riddance. Although the curse really isn't even that bad. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. I should have just saved. But Push here we go. On. All right. Is it three cornucopia blessings again? Like, it's nonsense. All right. Well, blood money to start is obviously insane. Sickle just starts at zero cost. That's kind of incredible. Let's grab it. That will be needed. It's not enough to kill these guys without stealth. It is enough to kill Strategize. you without stealth, though. You made it look easy. These guys actually minorly annoying here. Kind of interesting. Um, will you triumph? Might have to use either haunting bells or the widow's grasp against them or something. Can't afford the bell quite yet. Let's reduce my health. Grab the bell. Oh yes. Kill you with the bell. Actually, I would like to use up the sickle before I pick up the lamp, so the lamp can just supply my bell a bit. So I go to stealth. If I have stealth, I kill these guys, right? Yeah, so that works out okay. Sure, let's just do that. I can wreck these guys while being stealthy. Let the sickle die. Pick up a lamb. Restore a charge to my bell. Um, probably pick up the memento. Although I'm gonna do it like so. To grab this over here. Okay, grab this. And that lets me kill. 
firing. Um, okay. Let's go here. Ah, sweet relief. Just start getting rid of tombstones. There's the boss. Curious Poray. Is he attacked for four? I mean, with two mementos, I could just kill him. <clears throat> Wouldn't even be that hard. Strategize. Right, attack for like 20 something. His healing is not super relevant at that point. I'd have to dump the lamp. It's probably fine. I could also wait, though, and do it later. And that would also work just fine, so. Here, why don't I do this? Get rid of this thing. Invigorating, no? Use my bell on you. Easy. I can restore charges to both things. Pick up an extra memento. Hit it. I can't use multiple items at a time. I knew that. Oh, okay. Well, I guess we're waiting there. I'm gonna have to use my bell, I guess, to kill him, or like get the armor or something. Hit it. Figure it out in a bit. For now, let's just beat up some other things. Can't get rid of these straight up, unfortunately. Okay, there's more bells. That's good. Um, let's sell this. Okay, the skeleton I can just fight. God, this is awkward. Um... All right, let's go low and bell the guy. I can actually kill him, right? Them. Yeah, I even overused the bell a little bit. Right. That's fine. Do this. No? Now, picking up the razor would require picking up both toxic bloods, which is less than ideal, so we won't be doing that. Splatted. I'll just continue using insanely overpowered weapons instead. Crush them. Use one of these up, it's fine. Do like this. Like Let's see, I could. Okay, I can now pick this up, get rid of this. Yeah, let's do that. Ooh, yes. So I can get rid of this stupid thing. Um, and then start killing some Hit people. It. Dead. Got him. Ah, sweet relief. Let's see. Sure. A new toy. I'll use some robes here. Why not? Hurry. Uh, can I do this without a weapon? Two. Yeah, I guess I just barely can. Actually, if I do this, I lose like the same amount of health and I kill it. Okay. Too easy. Mostly irrelevant, which way I go there, ah, but it's fine. Sweet relief. Alright, you it die to this. Very nice. Six enemies left. Now I can pick up, say, the bell. That will Get rid be of neat. this. Um, Crush them. Four, five. So this won't do enough. I can kill you with a mortal coil. But I'll get a stupid skeleton I don't even want. Just kill you with my weapon. It's fine. Invigorating. So I can see what's in this box. Uh, wow, these are bad. 
Fortuitous. The courage of youth. It's a really bad box. Ah, sweet relief. Fighting. Too easy. Strategize. Magical. All right. To your Could be that. Strategize. Take that. Me quick work of that boss. Continues. All right, what do we got here? Tower of Thieves. Nothing too crazy there. Choose wisely. Release cost two. Judicator Berserker. Well, Berserker is not doable. I don't like Forester very much. So it's balanced to Judicator. Is balanced to do anything? Gadgets are plenty. Not really. All right. Well, I guess it's gonna be Judicator by process of elimination. What will be revealed? Wagu's hand's all right. Feeble. It's not very exciting. I'll take the hand. Adam's welcome, great. Welcome. Uh, another sickle's okay. Another chest is okay. A fine assortment of dangerous Do I have three lamps? I don't need the chest. Yeah, I don't need the chest. Let's grab the sickle and then. Yes, yes. I think I'll. Yeah, is the widow's grasp good? Now let's do one reroll. I really want. Yeah, there we go. Really, really wanted this. Prudent purchase. And we'll just get rid of health file, probably. Or scythe. Let's go with health file. Won't be needing that. Call that a deck. Onwards. All right. So two blood money is huge. I will take more if I can find them, but that'll help at least. Watch yourself, hero. So I don't know if this is the weirdest RNG ever, or if this thing's broken or what, but we keep getting the same three blessings every time. Anyway, here's some starving sickles. That will be That's needed. Got to be helpful, right? Hit it. Kills you. It's for eight. Eight's like a just barely not good enough number against some of this stuff, but that's fine. We'll Hit it. kill what we can. Take that. Ah, sweet relief. Let's see. Crush you have a them. blitz attack. I'm gonna need something a little bit better against you. All right, I can just take some damage here. Right? Hit for eight. Hit for one. Seems fine. Pick up another sickle for free, What's and that's cool. Um, yeah, just take three more damage. Not a huge problem. Yes. Almost gets us into stealth. Uh, the problem is now it's a little awkward because I can't actually kill anything. So. Get rid of this. Sweet relief. Cornucopia doesn't really help much. I can now do this. Strategize. Go to one. Yeah, that works. No bother. I'm at one. So let's see. Crush them. This is eleven. That's a six attack. So with this, it's not good enough, right? Because it'll be eight. Okay. Could buy the mortal coil, and that would be good enough to kill these guys, and then get me a skeleton, which doesn't really do anything, but it's not terrible either. Kind of interesting. Yeah, sure. A new toy. It's bound to do something here. No bother. Okay. Dump a few of these. Health. 
Every one of those guys is fine. But I need my stealth here, so I should do that first. And get rid of this, get a new skeleton, then I guess we need the... Yeah, okay. Go back to one. It's fine. Kill you with a coil. Have a stealth. Do this. Not a big deal. Kill you with this. Spawn a new one. Yes, it's all good. Invigorating, no? Let's see, with stealth, Reaper's Razor probably works here, right? Hit it! So I think for 11, 6, so it'll be 8 with that. Okay, so I should buy this. I'll get rid of one of these guys. I'll kill you. Get an extra health. Oh, there's blood money. Nice. Not sure why it's costing one. Wait, is stuff costing extra? And I just haven't noticed. It's entirely possible. Uh, let's get rid of this. Yeah, stuff just costs extra and I haven't noticed. Cool, cool. Let's grab blood money over this. Oh, it costs extra because of that. Okay. Yep, I'm, uh, I'm on top of things. Alright, this is a seven attack weapon, so... It'll be four more than this, which would be twelve. Still not enough. We're gonna need something strong against these guys. A bit stronger than what we've had so far. To your help. Well, 15 health enemy as well. Alright. There we go. There's there's the thing we need. Let's dump this tombstone, I think. Grab myself a memento. I guess kill you while I'm stealth. Why not? So I need still well, I need still against these guys, not against you. You I can just kill. These guys don't have a blitz attack though, so I'm gonna want stealth. Let's see you five. It doesn't quite do enough. Five, six, seven. Huh. I think quite works the way I want here. I guess we'll go into stealth mode. Let's see, can I use the skeleton in some fashion here? The so skeleton can do two here. Um, then still not really enough. I can have the skeleton die right here. Take three. Oh yeah, the skeleton can... So the skeleton can go both of these. It deals four and then I finish it off. Yeah, okay, that actually works just fine. Since there's no uh, blitz here. Go. So that's really nice because then I can pick up the wishing lamp to start recharging my stuff. That will be Which I will want to do. And now we go to stealth mode. Uh, yeah, sure. Go to one. Correct Kill these them. guys. Spot well, twenty-five is absurd. go and start dumping some tombstones until we find enemies. Well, we found more weapons, which is almost the same. Not quite. Um, let's just pick up I don't know, another one? Sure. That will be needed. Mostly irrelevant. Lots of ways to win from here. Sweet relief. Okay. Feels really silly to use a giant weapon on these guys, so I just won't. Dispatched with ease. That's gonna be slightly annoying. Uh, let's do this, and then use this up because we're about to get a thing. Splatted. Kill you. <laughs> get rid of this. Don't need an 
extra one of these for sure. I mean, there's lots of things we don't need here. Almost everything, in fact. Wait, is there a boss in this? I don't actually remember. <laughs> I don't think there is. I guess we'll find out shortly. If there is, I got a bunch of bells for it, I guess. It's not really a big deal. Just make sure the bells stick around. Oh, they just get blitz attacked and not paying attention. I sure did. Could have easily died there and just not paid any attention to it. Oh. Not smart, but that's okay. All right, there was not a boss. Uh, get rid of this and kill you. Fortunately, the enemy was at the bottom of the deck here. Oh, there we go. All right, uh, sector zero is next. And we've got, we got yes, a boss this yes. time around, can be targeted. Okay, we got some bigger enemies, shouldn't really be an issue. Choose. Crusader's pretty bad, Rich is okay, Warmonger's okay, Adventure. Not really that exciting. I think I just take Warmonger and make my weapon slightly better. Rewards. These are all bad. I'm gonna replace them immediately. With more memento moris, I guess. Got 15 to reroll, but the rest of the stuff doesn't do anything. Puppet Master's okay. Though, it's really not much better than a single charge of a bell or a memento mori, right? Like, it's just not great. But rerolling's too expensive. Could buy the shovel, it's one gold. Yeah, that actually seems okay. The right tool for the job. With with the perks we have, it's a one gold five attack weapon. It's pretty strong. Good riddance. The secondary part of it's not really relevant. But... Alright, sector zero, let's do this. I've seen this before. Hey, there were different uh things this time. Oh, stuff costs more, right? Okay. Um, Crush you them. deal me six damage. It's kind of a lot. I'm going to rather sell something to buy a lamp and go somewhere from there. Not sure where exactly. I can pick up a mortal coil, I guess. Oh, there's a blood money. Okay. Well, now we're in business. Uh, let's get a gold. Get the blood money. Spend for a mortal coil, I guess. I can also spend for the bell. What's my max? 16. I guess the bell on a bunch of lamps is not terrible to have here. I'm also stealthy. I can't kill these guys until I take a little bit more damage, so we'll hold off on that for now. Um, that will be buy the bell and start using that on all these guys. <laughs> Store a charge, use it again. Uh, to this. Your health. Let me restore one more charge. That makes sense. Then I could pick up some money and I guess grab the mortal coil. It's okay. It lets me kill these stupid things. Because taking eight more damage is going to take some time. I wish I can one shot them, right? Um. <clears throat> Let's do it. What luck! I guess I'll take the blessing here. Will you it's fine, I can spend it on blood money. Alright, um... Yeah, 
Bell doesn't one-shot the golem. I can two-shot it if I want. This can also attack for 13. So it can be up to 15 plus one. Actually, I think that gets counted already. Plus this is like an extra three. So I don't think I can quite one-shot the golem. No matter what here. Can my skeletons fight this? Kind of. Skeletons on this guy as well, so I don't think any poison or whatever. Sure. Using a bell on the slimes just feels like such a huge waste, you know. There we go. Easy solution. To your help. I guess I'll just fight through some slimes at this juncture. Gaining a bunch of health myself, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. I, again, with blood money, you can always get rid of it if you need to. Kind of funny that we have this whole huge setup and we're using basic skeletons to fight these guys, but you know, they're immune to weapons and uh, I don't want to waste the bell charges on them, so it's just where we are. And again, I'm just going to utilize the skeletons while I can here. But I will take two damage myself. Get rid of this. Relief. All right, I'm gonna have to go down on health now and uh, bash this golem though. Oh, hey, there's that. That's cool. Um, one hit you with this, and then will you triumph? Could use the remainder of the skeleton's health here, I suppose. Oh yeah, I even have Blitz. Sure. With ease. Nothing wrong with that, I guess. To your help. Okay, there's another one. Let's do this. Grab the lamb. What a find. Restore a charge. Hit you for 14. Um Will you try five. I guess this still works, yeah. Okay. Alright, switch them off. Managed to really utilize those skeletons well. Pretty happy about that. To your help. I'll go ahead and do this while I remember. Um Am I really going to use a bell on this? It's like so frustrating. But I have a million memento mori, so it's probably fine. Won't be needing that. Take that. Let's see. You blitz, right? Hit it. Okay. Let's grab a mori. Oh yes. Magical. That's fine. <laughs> I guess we'll blood down to stealth. Strategize. Kill. Invigorating, no. Kill. Grab another one. Kill this guy. Actually, let's restore the last bell charge before I do that. Just to make sure it goes to the right place, because again, we have so many worries, I don't need to be uh, worrying about them. 
There's two enemies. I'm actually Away save a few of these tombstones, maybe. Um, get rid of some of this crappier stuff. Okay, there's the guy. Yes, yes. Three, Let two, two. That's forty-one health. Okay. Probably just bell him down, right? A new toy. The exile returns. Two arms. There we go. Push, push. Nice and straightforward. Ah, sweet relief. Two arms. And uh. My damage here. No big deal. Alright, that went pretty well. Oh, we're at the end already. Alright. Things are going quick. Adventure, Rich, Reaper, Alchemist. Probably just Rich. Not too excited about the rest of these. And... I guess I'll take a soul link. It's not, a moment's it's not that good because we want to stay at low health for the most part, but we can, we can still use it sometimes. Uh, I don't really want any of this, though. We don't have any curses what left, right? The curses are gone. Ooh, devour's good. I definitely want to devour. So sweet. Don't really need our soul link. Another well, lamp's okay, but we have three of them. I think I'm fine there. Just really want to look for more blood money. That's what I'm gonna supposed to be rolling for. There we go. Another one. Take another Mori as well. Oh, I can't afford it. How much is it? 30? Okay. What a collection. Um, so yeah, let's get rid of robes. Away with you. And then I can get rid of one more thing to pick up another one of these, so sure. The right tool for the job. The infinite Moris are on line. Let's go. This looks interesting. Right, and I can buy one immediately. Um, that's ten attack already. Yeah, I mean, it seems fine now. Oh, they're both in a row. With, well, I can do this, I guess, and what then it works luck? out okay. Let's kill these Coco Cats because Coco Cats are annoying. Grab myself a Devour. Use it. And let's see. Something hits for 12. Um, okay, well, once something spawns, I can do that. So let's go here. Kill. Um, buy this. Get rid of this. Yeah, that's a lot of nukes. Um, so now these kill. Strategize. All right, kill all those guys. Let's go bang, bang, pick this up. What a find! Uh, let's see. Hit it. Two. This should be good enough against you. You're dead. The strength. And this is pretty elementary Do from here, I think. Splatic. Shotting everybody. Whoops. That. Ah, sweet relief. And then when we see the boss, we'll just grab a bell and a bunch of lamps and uh, finish them off that way. Is going to be the plan. Here, I'll grab this. What luck! Let's see, this is good enough against you. So let's use it. You can make it look easy. And then this is still good enough, thanks to my max health being very high. Another Mori as well. 
good. Uh, I mean, I'll grab a hand, sure. Use some of these lesser weapons against these guys. So I have to use the good stuff. Yeah, that might be helpful as a swap in sort of thing. Just kill you. Okay, probably don't need three blood monies. Got lucky to find one in the first place. Sweet relief. This. This. All right, we got a big enemy. Um, well, I'm gonna have to go down a lot of health here. It's enough. It. it is. All right. No reason to go down any lower then. Invigorating, no. A nuke. Um, sure, I'll get rid of this thing. Put the nuke. Unfortunately, this isn't enough for this guy. So we'll have to use the last charge of this. That's okay, though. Again, there are more where that came from. I'll find a use for this eventually against, like, a skeleton or something. The Uber Ledge. Kill. Now, I do need to use up this head and ideally the Wagyu thing before I go after the Lich. So, let's see if I can do that. I think you just need to find another enemy. There we go. That works. So now I can go ahead and kill this. Pick up, I guess, both bells at this point. Oh, wait, does this. Oh, this might be good enough. Um, and we're gonna do some quick math, see if I can't be extra efficient. This is for eight, so if I go down to two. Kill you. <laughs> then I can grab more bells if I want. What luck? Uh, bell, bell. Just throw some charges. Bell and store another charge. Buy a head. A new toy. Kill you with head. And then kill everything else and be done. Yeah, you know, I'll even bell you. Why not? Ah, sweet relief. Well, that was an easy finish. Um, this ended up being a pretty powerful build where the half health thing was actually sort of helpful, which is funny. Uh, I think it's probably the character that cares about that the least, if you set up in this fashion, at least. of the enemies. Oh wow. It's a freaking uh, basic skeleton. Keepers. And that concludes yet something. I'm recording so put legendary. Alright, so there we go. Uh, nice win for Moldorf. Unfortunate the end for um, the mischief. But, you know, sometimes, uh, sometimes you screw up the math and you die. These things do happen. Uh, so additional curses and new game plus seven. So Moldorf's caught up. That's kind of sweet. Um, yeah, definitely solid fun run. Hope you enjoyed it as well, as always. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.